everybody. We are in South Dakota looking for hopefully to find a Fairburn agate, but never know, see what else we can find. I apologize if there's wind noise, it's a little bit breezy. Um, but we're here in uh, some pretty badlandsy stuff. And uh, gonna go check it out, area we've never been. And hope you can come along and enjoy. Man, look at all that gravel. She called me a billy goat earlier. Just because I can get around this stuff a little better here. What pebs? This, I believe, is some petrified wood. A lot darker and golden. A lot different looking than what I'm used to finding on the Yellowstone. I believe we got another piece of petrified wood. It's got the quartz on top, that's kind of neat. This one, I don't even know if you call it a signer, but it's got some little fortification bands here and there, all over. Not exactly what we're looking for, but we'll take it. I see something. Kind of got my heart going a little bit. I don't know if it's anything yet or not. I haven't dug it out, but seeing this tip sticking out right here, and it's got looks like banding, but I don't know that it's exactly what we're looking for. Hold on, get the knife out. Can't find my shovel that I normally take with me, so. I'm not sure. Let's pop that out. Let's give it a rinse. Well, not a fair burn, but it does have some neat banding and coloring. It's kind of different. Petrified wood, there, here, there, there. Petrified wood all over the place. So much stuff to look at. That looks like agatized wood. Pretty sure. I think it is anyway. It's just a different color over here. There's so much stuff out here. I don't know what to pick up and what to leave. So we're picking up a couple pieces here and there, but so far, no Fairburns. Not an agate. Kim just found this one. Yeah, it's looking like it almost wants to be. But just not quite. Dang it. What's up everybody? We are at a new spot today. It is the next day from what you just watched. Found a couple things, didn't really find a lot. Um, ran into a couple people. 
uh, from England and visited with them and then another guy from Boston and uh, nice gentleman and uh, if you guys see this you know who you are hope you're doing well and uh, so we're out here in a new spot we call this Railroad Buttes again looking for a Fairburn so we'll see what we can find here uh, Lots of gravel it looks like, and there's looks like there's four US Army helicopters flying around. Must be doing some training or something, but anywho. Let's see what we can find. Sorry for the wind noise, it's a little breezy today. There is no shortage of rocks to look at. And it is just like this, as far as the eye can see here. Just rocks upon rocks. I don't even know where to start. It's just a terrible thing, you know? God dang it. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Looked like it was liquid and it just drizzled on there like frosting and then hardened. Huh. There goes one. Hey, just pick this up. Looks like it's agatized on the inside. Just a prairie agate, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. There's so many freaking rocks everywhere. I mean, you don't even know where to start. I think I'm gonna head way off that way because I'm not far from where the vehicle is. And this might be picked over a little bit, but good grief. Even if it is picked over, there's so much. It'd be so easy to miss something. Who knows? But, I think just for the sake of getting a little ways away where maybe not as many people get, I don't know. I'm gonna head way off. Just see what's over there. If I don't keep getting distracted, stopping and looking. Hard to do when there's gravel everywhere and who knows where you might find something. That's kind of neat. Kind of got an amber and a red. It's like an ice cream sandwich. I just dug this out of the ground. It has the, it almost seems like the texture of petrified wood or agatized wood, but it's plumb clear. Pocket in there. So I'm not sure. I don't know. The heck is with me lately finding arrows. Huh. It has a home. Check that out. Just found this shell fossil conglomerate. I think there's a big clam shell or something right there. That's where I dug that one shell. Well, we're not up. It looks like maybe there's another one right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Get a wash valve here. See if we can see it better. I 
almost has the rainbow sheen like uh, amylite a little bit. Yeah, look at that big old clam show right there. Nate, is it Nate? It's Nate. Another one just laying there, it's coming out from a layer up there or something. I'll take that one too. Kind of a neat prairie agate. Here's another one of them pieces that reminds me of petrified wood. Just the, I mean, it's clear, but the, just the texture of green of it. But, I mean, I, I've never seen petrified wood that was that clear. I wouldn't think it's that but I don't know Oop, got spots all over my camera now sprayed too close huh. hey if you know what that is exactly leave a comment for me appreciate it I don't know if you can see it very well with this camera but right here this looks like there's a fossil shell fossil indentation there well it's really windy out so I'm doing this in the vehicle um, we're gonna go check another spot I covered a bunch of ground out here a lot of stuff to look at as you've seen but did not find a Fairburn so you can see why they're so prized because man, they're hard to find that around just terrible at it. But anywho, we're gonna go check out another spot and then we probably need to get going and head for the house. We got a long trip ahead of us, so let's go see what we can find over there. We made it! So here's the Cheyenne River on a gravel bar here. I'm just gonna do a little looking around, see if we see something. We'll let you know. I just picked this up can't get too close with this camera but look at right in there the little fortification I don't know that I'd call this a fair burn necessarily but it's definitely got agate in it so far probably the prettiest piece of the day very happy with that Kim found something and got excited, but I made her hold off to show me until... <laughs> oh yeah! You done found one. Bunch of, it's like a bunch of little signers. Little ones, yeah. But, I mean, it's there, no doubt. Good job, turd. You found one before I did. <laughs> right on. Well, guess we didn't get totally skunked this time. Kim found this. It's all holy and stuff. It reminds me of coral. That's what she thought. But, but yet it looks different, so I don't know. But we're going to keep it otherwise. Petrified wood, Kim found. Another piece of petrified wood, I think. Oh yeah. Kim's finding all the good rocks. <laughs> Just found this. I think it's a prairie agate. Maybe. But. Yeah, that's really quite neat. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. It's neat. I like it. <laughs> I think I found where an ammonite was. Right there. Imprint of one anyway. Oh, got an agate pocket right here. Kind of goes around and then have another agate pocket right there. It a little bit, might be unfocused. 
Well, thank you for joining us today. Loud bat. <laughs> thank you for joining us today on our journey to find a fair burn agate. Again, we didn't necessarily find a fair burn, but we found a couple signers and uh, some other neat stuff. So hopefully better luck next time. We wish you are all doing well. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and we hope to see you guys on the next one. Start doing some squats or something. The rocks in my pockets. Pulling my pants down. I need to get my butt puffing up to keep my pants up. Getting older. Getting uh, old man frog butt. Notice she doesn't say anything. She's like, yep.